Yeah, Callum Sheedy. Released from the Wales camp. Didn't make the 23 for them. Okay. The Six Nations against France on okay. Friday night. So okay. their loss is Bristol's gain. Okay, time on, please. Paul. And he'll get us started. A repeat of last season's truly epic semi-final. If we reach anything like the heights of that famous day, we are in for a treat. What will these two serve up this time around? The sun is shining. Tackle, let go. In Bristol. And Danny Kerr. Yes, please. Take we'll just back. slow things down. He's not only leading the league in assists this season, but also in metres made off the boot. And running it back for Bristol. Alapati Leua, who's over on the right wing side, and they work the short side, but a big tackle coming in from Will Collier. Lua Tua with a slightly risky pass out the back, and it's been picked up by Antoine Frisch, the Frenchman, and he sends it down to Tyrone Green. Here he goes. Leads the league and defenders beaten this season. Pops it over the top to Oscar Beard. The young Queen's Academy player, been at the club since he was 12 years of age. Uh, proud day for him to start on the wing for Harlequins here at Ashton Gate this afternoon. Care again to Edwards, the sevens man, Esther Hayes, and he's been brilliant already. A try scoring opportunity for Harlequins, offload from Care, looking for their opening score here, Quinns. They're almost there. It's Archie Wright, who is millimetres short for Harlequins. The visitors looking to start with a bang here. Defensive responsibilities, early doors for the hosts. Picking and going is Tom Lauday now. Still coming, buddy. Still there. Yes, please. There's the captain, Levies. He's got Hugh Tizard with him. And they'll try and drive over from close range. They've got the advantage. Do Harlequins. Care goes digging. Danny Kerr looks at the short side but decides to go open. Loose prior pass behind Tyrone Green, but here's Oscar Beard. Beard for the corner. What a score from Oscar Beard. They'll go upstairs. But Harlequin's acrobatic early on here at Ashton Gate. Okay, on field try, just checking. Oh, uh, yeah, that was classic yeah, Quinn's rugby. Runs, yeah. Unbelievable. Yeah. Really started off by some bruising carries. Hugh Tizard featuring. Unbelievable carry. Gets behind Quinn's and Murley in the corner a few phases later. Look at this gas. Great finish. Unbelievable finish. Look at this. Just checking for a foot in touch, mate. That's a try, isn't it? Yeah. So the foot, well, that the is, foot is fine. An absolutely yeah. unbelievable yeah. finish. Outstanding from, from Oscar. Yeah. Agreed. My apologies, it is Murley. What a finish. From Caden Murley in the corner. Yeah, he's pure highlights. He's been unbelievable for them this season and last. Really good player. The, the depth for the wings at Quinns is just it's nightmarish. Unbelievable. Like the Mariana Trench. They've just got so much talent to pick from. Louis Liner on the bench, for example. So, Will Edwards. Not the best looking kick he's ever nailed in his life, but it goes over, and that's the extra two to convert the Murley try. What a start from Harlequins, they lead it 7 0. Yeah, brilliant multi phase rugby here. They're just really good variation. This got a bit sloppy, but they made it work. Look at that, just wheels for days. Back by Bristol, play on. Bristol have possession, another awkward ball, and Murley's oh, on to it. Unbelievable. Caden Murley is going to get two tries inside four minutes. Yeah. And Ashton Gate, that is absolutely extraordinary. Yeah, that's rockstar stuff. Fastest brace in history, surely. It'll, it'll be boxed off as well, yeah. 
unbelievable wheels again. Yeah, Bristol just getting a bit loose here. Out the back from... Oh, just predation. Just seizes the opportunity like any good winger. Looks all good so far. Yeah, so far. Yeah, nothing clear play on, mate. His 10th try of the season. Chayden Murley. Well, Bristol shell-shocked here. Early on, Edwards from right in front will add the extra two. So 14-0 to Harlequins. And the clock hasn't even reached five minutes. What a season this guy's having.